All right, David Harry here, and the other day I went out and done a ton of vloggy stuff with different microphones, all using the iPhone SE 2020. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you a bunch of shots where I utilize the Rode Wireless Go system, also the Rode Lavalier Go system. Now before I show you the stuff that I shot, I'm just gonna show you some close-ups of this system and explain the wiring and the setup. Okay, so here is all the stuff on the table. Let me just explain what this all is. This is a basic set of legs, like a little tiny tripod. This here is the pistol grip. This is the lightning to headphone cable from Apple. This is the Rode CS7 TRS to TRRS cable. This is the Ulanzi grip system, which does have a model number that I don't know right now. So here we go. Here it is on the screen right now. This is the Rode Wireless Go receiver. This is the Rode Wireless Go transmitter with the microphone built in. And finally, this is the iPhone SE 2020. First thing is to connect the legs and the pistol grip together, both of them are quarter 20. So put that in there and just screw it on and there you have that bit. The Alanzi grip here, the pistol grip here are both quarter 20 as well. So let's just put them together. There you go. Then we put the phone inside the grip like that and then we just tighten it off here with the nut on the top and then that's all nailed. Then we get the receiver for the wireless go which has got this little springy thing here and then clip it into the cold shoe here with the springy thing like that and there we go. Take the grey end of the Rode SC7 cable which is the TRRS end and plug it into the headphone section there on the Apple lightning to headphone cable, then plug the lightning end of the cable into the phone's lightning socket there, then plug the TRS end of the Rode SC7 cable into the output from the Rode Wireless Go receiver like that. So there's all the rig sorted, then what you do, you just get your transmitter with the microphone in and clip it onto wherever you want to clip it onto, and then to use the Lavalier Go, just plug its TRS jack into the input of the transmitter and there you go. Okay, so outdoors and for the first test, what I'm going to do is just use the wireless go on its own, as in it's just strapped onto me chest. So if we look here, there it is and it's using its internal microphone. Now, the thing with this like this, it's not really for me. It's not something that I'm dead into, but I do appreciate a lot of other people are into it and that's cool, which is why I'm gonna show it like this. But there is one thing that I can't argue about with this particular position. It just shows the absolute convenience of using the wireless go because you can just clip it on like this and just go for it. It literally is mega quick. Now also what I'm gonna do here whilst I'm outdoors, I'm gonna try and keep an eye on the clock on the phone here on the timer. I'm gonna try and see if it's possible <laughs> for me to keep all the takes less than two minutes long. So I don't know if I'm gonna react any differently than what I normally would do, because in the back of my head, I'm just gonna be very mindful of um, this two minute mark. So I don't know if I can, I don't know how, how well I'm gonna be at transitioning to the end of a take here to go to another take because usually I just blabber on for months and um, so what I'm going to do if I feel that I'm, I'm too close to two minutes and I need to come out the take I'm just going to dive out the take and stuff like that so we're on to a minute and a half right now anyways I feel that this one has been okay I think I've explained what's going on here and me reasoning and I don't think I've over over labored the point now also what I can show you here which also ties in with how super convenient convenient this little setup is when you just clip it onto your clothing and stuff check this out okay so you're really stuck and there's nowhere to put the microphone anywhere on your front there's literally nowhere to clip it well as we can see here i've just clipped it onto the sleeve of my t-shirt here now granted this is not the best position for it but if you're like out and about and you've got absolutely nowhere else to put the microphone, then yeah, you know, somewhere is better than nowhere. And the only reason why I can do this is because of the way that the microphone is like dead easy to just clip onto stuff. In fact, if this would have been a t-shirt without like, you know, buttons and collar and stuff, then that might have been the only way to have done this because although you can clip it right up here, that might not be as good a position as, as what that is there. I don't know what this is sounding like. You do, so you can gauge for yourself what that's like. Now what I'm gonna do is try another position. 
okay so don't laugh at this position right <laughs> what it is I, I was just trying to think of things off the top of my head um, i've not thought this one through obviously but what i've done i've just stuck it onto the glasses here right so let's just ignore the fact that it might look a bit crazy can we still hear dialogue okay and the reason why I say that is only because, just like I mentioned with like clipping it to the sleeve on the t-shirt, there may well be, you may well be in a scenario where you are absolutely like running out of places to clip the microphone. And indeed, if you're in a scenario where you don't even need to be on camera, as it were, you're just like narrating with what's going on, as in, I turn the camera around like that, and you're just filming what's ahead of you. So you're off camera. Maybe it doesn't really matter where the microphone is positioned as long as it still sounds okay. Now, obviously I've never tried this before, so <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Does it sound okay? And if it does, then maybe at a push, it is an option. Let's see what else could... <laughs> or maybe, <laughs> maybe you're at a nudist beach <laughs> and all you got on is your glasses. <laughs> Right, so if you're at a new this beach doom vlog and all you got on is your glasses, this is what you're getting away with. Actually, although saying that, I would imagine if you're at a new this beach, I don't know if you can use cameras and stuff. I wouldn't know. I've never been to one. Like, <laughs> maybe you should go and find out. Oh my God, what am I saying? Right, listen, I'm going to go to the next take. So what I've done now is switched over to the combination of the Lavalier Go with the Wireless Go. So as you can see here, there's the Lavalier Go. And then down here, just... On my trousers, I've just clipped the transmitter off the wireless go. Okay, and obviously the lavalier is plugged into the wireless go. Anyways, so this will give us a very clear example of just how good this sound is or isn't. Personally, I think it's awesome. But, you know, these things, I suppose, after a point become personal taste. Um, my personal taste on this one is that this combination is absolutely super awesome. Uh, mega convenient and I'll, I'll show a, a more convenient setup in a minute when I do it concealed um, but the thing with this setup right now I think if Rode had to come out with these two things at exactly the same time they would absolutely would have just stole the show I think because both of these things in use together are fantastic if anyone's familiar with my stuff they'll know that in the past I, I did give the wireless go a bit of a tough time uh, that's only because on its own and the way it had been touted um, doing like 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 distance with it wasn't particularly good it still isn't but when you're close like this in these like little vloggy positions and whatnot you don't have problems with the like distance for its radio and stuff like that so when you link the two things together I think it's just like a big double whammy it becomes like really dead cool in fact I'll show you how cool it is give us a second Okay, so what I'm doing here is just showing you something super cool that you can do. I'm not entirely sure what the framing's like because the phone is a bit far away from me now. So what it is, I've just popped it down on the, the top of this little grass verge in front of the sand trap at the golf course here. And literally just gone walking away from it. So that's what I'll do. I'll just carry on walking for a bit. And just, just to give us an idea of something really super convenient with this setup, and that is if you've got a pistol grip with, say, a little like set of legs on and stuff, you can just pop it down anywhere. Or if indeed, no matter what the rigging system is that you're using for your phone, as long as you're using something which has got legs on it, or maybe it's got a clamp on it or something like that, you're literally just popping the system down and then running off and doing things like this. Now, I don't know, maybe you're out and about doing your vloggy thing and you're somewhere where you just need to kind of go, you know, I've just found something dead cool, I need to do something about it. And there's no one else around to kind of give you a hand and hold your thing for you, but you need a bit of distance from the shot. You could literally just pop it on a wall and walk away and do stuff. Anyways, yeah, this is just a quick thing, just to give you an idea of something else, which is like, you know, mega convenient. And it's also something which can only happen when you've got a setup like this. And so right now I've got the super convenient set up of the lavalier being concealed so the lavalier is still plugged into the transmitter and whatnot so exactly still the same setup but this time i've got the lavalier underneath my t-shirt so here we go 
somewhere around there is where the lavalier is so what i'm what i'm using to do this is a right coat undercover it's basically like um, a little sticky pad with a felt thing and stuff which allows you to position lavaliers on like clothing or on skin and kind of hide them and conceal them and stuff now there's a few reasons why this is my favorite setup first one is for whatever reason I think the, this lavalier sounds better when it's on contact with my chest. I do believe it's obviously like, you know, the resonance coming off my chest, but a, a lot of microphones cannot work so well with that. This one does though. I think it actually sounds better when it's like, you know, taped to my chest and concealed. So that's one big advantage I find with this microphone. The other one is, of course, is be, with it being behind the T-shirt, it's going to be protected a bit more from wind in fact it, it can actually be like very well protected sometimes i've compared it on their blustery days to other mics that i've had with dead cats on and the one under my t-shirt was actually performing better as far as rejecting wind was concerned so there's that as, as an advantage as well and then of course totally concealed so if you're in if you know if you're in scenarios where you don't want to have the microphone showing you can't really beat this position like i say all in all this is my favorite position for this stuff now give us a sec let me just give ourselves a quick example of the internal microphones okay so onto the internal mics now and i have to be dead honest i really like the internal mics on this phone i think they sound great and right now it is mega still, so no wind to disturb the mics or anything. Like I say, I think out of all the small devices that I've got, I'd probably go as far as to say the internal mics on this phone are the best internal microphones of any small device that I've got. They really are very impressive. Whilst I have a number of like issues with the picture and stuff with the phone, the audio of the internal mics I think is absolutely fantastic for what it is. Now, the thing is, I've done a number of other videos. I don't know if they're all live at the moment. And with them, I'm using kind of like, you know, different other types of external mics and that. But with those videos, I've actually gone to the lengths of kind of suggesting maybe that maybe those mics are not really necessary. Um, I mean, obviously use them if you've got them, but... With, the, with, with something like this where it's got such good microphones for the internal ones and they work so well close like this it, you know it's a bit of a hard push to say to people we'll use an external mic so some of the other mics that I've used with it which are like cardioids and shotguns of course they are better but for close positions like this they're not entirely necessary However, as much as what I've been given as a caveat on the other videos, I won't do it with this one. And the reason for that is, is purely because with a lavalier system or a wireless lavalier system as well, you get certain advantages that you don't get with like a fixed position microphone and stuff like that. So this is the only one where I think I won't be like, you know, like given caution as it were that you know as in do you really need the external microphone with this phone only because lavaliers and uh, radio microphones are quite unique and it's something that the phone definitely can't do on its own all right so just for this last take to finish off the video i've just gone back to the concealed variation so this the lavalier go plugged into the wireless go but the lav it, the lavalier is concealed anyways yeah so hopefully you know these takes here have hopefully given people some really good examples and ideas as to what it is that they may want to do or what they could do with this type of setup and it goes far as to say as well that it, it's not wholly necessary to use this lav system just with this phone obviously you can use any microphone in any number of scenarios but to think this particular setup with the uh, with the lavalier go and the wireless go do particularly particularly lend themselves to like a really good vlogging experience so basically going untethered having a nice sound not worrying about cables being able to just be ultra flexible with where you put your recording device and all the rest of it i mean as a for instance with this in fact give us one second there we go just another quick example of something ultra convenient i've now flipped over to the rear camera and then i'm like still like you know able to get clean dialogue while i'm doing this in fact what i'm doing right now you can't see but i'm looking 
directly away from the camera. In fact, I'll turn this round. Let's see if you can catch me. I don't know if this framing has got me, but hopefully somewhere in there you'll have seen. I'm actually like pointing right away from the phone. So in that instance, you know, your voice or your position can be completely anywhere you want it to be. It doesn't have to be following what the camera or the phone is doing. Yeah, so you can always do stuff like that as well, I suppose, which is mega convenient. Because don't forget, if you've got like a shotgun or something or a cardioid put on top of the phone or anything like that, you would have to take that off and reposition it to do that take. Literally, that just took me two seconds to do because I just stopped recording because uh, you can't live switch the camera. I, I hit stop on the record button and then just flip the camera and hit record again two seconds and straight into that so yeah there's always stuff like that the thing is especially i think when you're doing like proper walking around places vlogging and things like that i mean don't get me wrong you know you can do other things with this stuff but if you're doing like proper out and about vloggy stuff and you want to catch something really quick all those little kind of things that are like little points of convenience should we say they all add up like in at the end of the day to give you extra things that you could get away with when doing these things so you can't like just sniff at these things as if it's all like you know small potatoes all the time because it isn't and especially for people who are doing this stuff like dead serious or dare I say professionally and stuff like that obviously I'm not a professional vlogger but my use of this stuff is to make professional products and things so yeah you know if that's where you're at with these things hopefully this will be you know all these like takes here will have been really good for you to get a good idea of what's achievable anyways i'm going to try and keep this down to uh, takes which were less than two minutes long each other. it's actually been a thing i've tried to do on this video is keep all the takes less than two minutes or at best just over two minutes i'm getting up to 140 now so i'm going to end this anyways what it is there'll be links in the description below uh, to take it to maybe some of the videos of, of interest to do with this type of stuff also as well there'll be links to like you know the stuff that are being used if you're interested in buying these things and also please give my video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel click the bell like, notification icon all that funky stuff and i'm gonna get off because i get up for two minutes now i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now <laughs>